Yo, what's happening? Banana vape here. So I, I got, I got a mutation, mutation X V2, right? It's got two positives, decent sized holes, right? I just felt like doing a 20 gauge build on it, so I got my, my 20 gauge Cantor. And I think I'm going to do like a 10 wrap, you know, because I've been trying to keep the ohms up because I use them on my boxes and stuff, so. Now I wrap on an 089 drill, which is 2.25 millimeter. I hate wrapping this shit, it's killer on the fingers. Look at that. <clears throat> you see, I like to go to the second. See what I'm doing? Go to the second positive. Let's see now, if you don't put them both in at the same time, you end up with the coil in the way of the wire coming from the other side. So I like to do them at the same time so I could position, I could position this. See how both the positives are sticking up above the coils? So you don't end up with the wire sitting below the coil. Then you can still cut it off. It's a total pain in the ass when it's under the, the coil and you can't cut it off. Yeah, you want to make sure that the edge of the coil is obviously not past the edge of the deck because then you can't get your cap on. Common sense, but you know.
And it's reading point one. Yeah, but I think it's lower than that. Give me a little bit. Okay. So I got me some Japanese cotton. The way that I wick it. I go long ways. Put it right down the center. Take it and fold it directly under the coil. Okay. Put each flap directly under the coil. Do the same thing on the other side.
Not bad. Nice and clean, right? Oh, what should I put on here? Try some of this. I got my Renegade. Put some of this on here. Yeah, you know what I could do. See, with the 20 gauge, it gets really close to the edges, but these flaps get caught on it. Now, if you really wanted to, you could take something like this. If if you have one that fits, of course I don't. That's great. Um, you know what I could do? Hey, watch. I raise them up a little bit. Try to do it without hurting myself. See, I guess the most important thing about this, once you're all done with the build itself, is making sure that the coils aren't too close to the edges because you know you got the adjustable airflow and it's a separate piece than what goes over the top of the cap, you know, the, the around the perimeter of the, the, the top, you know, the top cap goes around it and then the inside is inside between the coil and the top cap. So you gotta be careful with that. It's a real airy Addy. Like, I'm not that into it because it's way too much air, I think. You know, even when I close, eh, I might have been a mess with it, but. I mean, fucking 20 gauge is pretty, pretty fantastic, but. It's not so great for flavor if you're keeping your, if you have your ohms really low. If it's too low, it just burns real hot and there's not too much vapor production. But see this is pretty this is pretty badass. Okay, hundred watts, three point eight volts at point one ohm. You know? Not bad, not bad. Till next time, banana vape out.